It's another weekend of buzz versus pure star power at the box office as the word-of-mouth sensation, A Quiet Place, finds itself neck and neck again with Dwayne Johnson's Rampage, this time Buzz had the slight advantage. Studio estimates on Sunday have placed A Quiet Place, with $22 million, in first, and Rampage, in second with $21 million, but it's possible those numbers may shift when final results are tallied on Monday. Still, John Krasinski's A Quiet Place continues to be a mini-phenomenon. With a $17 million production budget, A Quiet Place has grossed $132.4 million from North American theaters in three weeks. Rampage 2 is down only 41% domestically in its second weekend and continues to rake in the dollars globally. The film boasts a worldwide tally of $283 million, and Johnson has continued using his social media accounts to hype the film and thank audiences. I never take success like this for granted. Global success like this means so much, Johnson posted on his Instagram account Saturday night. I'm not a Marvel movie. It's not Star Wars. Rampage may as well have been called Dwayne Johnson and his albino gorilla friend because it's such an obscure video game. Thank you guys so much. The staying power of both somewhat overshadowed the newcomers, like Amy Schumer's I Feel Pretty, and the sequel to the 2001 cult comedy, Super Troopers, both of which nevertheless managed to find their own niche audiences despite largely negative reviews. I Feel Pretty, released by STX Entertainment, grossed an estimated $16.2 million, a little less than half of what Schumer's Trainwreck opened to in July 2015. Unlike Trainwreck, Schumer did not write I Feel Pretty, which is about an insecure woman who gets a life-changing confidence boost after a head injury. The concept became somewhat divisive and the subject of a fair amount of scrutiny. She's a force and that's not going to change, in notes Comscore senior media analyst Paul Dergarabedian. She's always going to push the envelope. Sometimes that will bring big box office, sometimes it won't. The partially crowd-funded Super Troopers 2, meanwhile, leaned into its April 20th opening and scored a fourth place, $14.7 million opening weekend for Broken Lizards and distributor 20th Century Fox. Get the latest on celebs, TV and more. By clicking sign up, you agree to our privacy policy. Fifth place went to the Blumhouse or Truth or Dare, with $7.9 million in its second weekend, while Lionsgate's thriller, Traffic, with Paula Patton, launched in ninth with $3.9 million. The box office for the year remains down about 2.4% from last year, but that will change next week. We're going to see a huge turnaround later this week in the box office fortunes with Avengers, Infinity War, Der Garabedian said. The film is tracking to make over $200 million in its first weekend in theaters, leading some experts to wonder whether the superhero pick could have the highest opening of all time, beating out even Star Wars The Force Awakens estimated ticket sales for Friday through Sunday at U.S. and Canadian theaters, according to Comska. Final domestic figures will be released Monday. 1. A Quiet Place, $22 million. 2. Rampage, $21 million. 3. I Feel Pretty, $16.2 million. 4. Super Troopers 2, $14.7 million. 5. Truth or Dare, $7.9 million. 6. Ready Player One, $7.5 million. 7. Blockers, $7 million. 8. Black Panther, $4.6 million. 9. Traffic, $3.9 million. 10. Isle of Dogs, $3.4 million.